Scarlet fury of park drones. Remember the dread that accompanied their sighting in the night sky and you can see that on your right. What calamity would they bring, we all wondered. In the end, our apprehensions were overblown. Why? Because we forgot about Akash, the shield of our skies. Whenever danger loomed, Akash rose with unwavering precision, defending not just territory but the heartbeat of a billion souls. Born of Indian ingenuity, nurtured by sacrifice, Akash is more than metal and circuitry. It is our collective resolve cast in steel. What better way tonight, viewers? What better way to pay tribute to it than by speaking to its inventor, Padma Shri, ex-DRDO scientist, Pralhad Ramarao, the unsung hero, viewers, of this major conflict that has broken out between India and Pakistan and the Operation Sindur, which continues even as we speak. Thank you so much, Pralad Ramarao, for speaking to me this evening. Salute to you, sir. Out of reverence, really, to you. Because without your mind, without your application, without your genius, a lot of Indians would perhaps not be here, not be around. So you have been the savior of millions of Indian lives. So, Mr. Ramarao, I have to begin by asking you, you have said in the past that your, year, that your eyes welled up with tears when you saw your baby working so well. You said that. You said that when you saw your baby working so well, you, you, you almost cried. Uh, can you elaborate on the feeling of the pride that you felt when you saw Akash protect India? See, uh, those who have done real science and technology work for 20, more than 20 years have done. And uh, for Akash, I uh, it took more than 50 years for it to come to a conclusion, hand over to the Army, Air Force. Then uh, we were not think we were not at that time when we handed over to Army, Army Air Force. We never thought it will be used in the real field, in the real battlefield by real soldiers. And... Uh, uh, how it performed, you know, it's it's a it's a big uh, uh, tension, and uh, we were we were all waiting. But it so happened that uh, first of all it gave a good performance. Right. Second, uh, it was in a real battlefield. Yes. It performed well. So it is a you can't explain how your heart swells and your mind works. Oh. And you cannot talk. I could not even talk for some time when I heard the news. Then my wife was there. She said. Uh, take it uh, correctly. Well, uh, anyways, it has worked well. So then only I could uh, uh, recollect. No, Mr. Then the first person I remembered was Dr. Kalam. Oh, Dr. Kalam. Well, uh, you know, Mr. Ramarao, I, I have to say, you know, you're making me emotional. I think you're making perhaps many, many Indians very emotional tonight. But wow, that was uh, that was such a magical technology. It is still, of course. And, and how complex was the science behind designing it, sir? I mean, I know it took you a long time. So how complex was it to get it perfect? So perfect. See, what happened? Normally, uh, people develop uh, technology and the product. Any missile system, normally in the world, it is a technology. We have to make a product, design, development, assembly, testing, improvement, material choice, and that is normally what happens. Mm. But in case of Akash, there was science involved. Mm. One science is how to make a phase array radar work. That is a electronically scanning phase array radar. In India, there was no phase array radar before this when the LRD was doing, and it was called as a Rajendra, the name, respecting the name of the director of LRD. And there's a lot of science in it, microwave engineering, RF engineering, and then uh, digital electronics, microelectronics, everything was involved. So there's a big science there, how to make the radar work for such a missile system. This is one big science question. Hmm. Second, another science is the propulsion of this uh, missile system is called ramjet propulsion. And uh, there is hardly one, only maybe one more ramjet propulsion available in the entire world. And we were, we had to develop a ramjet propulsion for the uh, pro missile because the army and air force said I don't want the missile to lose the speed. 
whatever speed you generate Mark II plus should remain till the missile will go near the target and explode. So it is a big challenge because normally the speed will keep coasting down, reducing as you fly away and away. Mm. So then we evolved what is known as ramjet propulsion where the mod, lot of science was involved. Chemistry, propellant chemistry was involved. Wow. Wow. You know, look, Indian brain, viewers, Indian brain, uh, you can't credit it enough. So, uh, Prahlad Sahib, now, now tell me, you said at first the military was hesitant to take on board the Akash, even though only one other country has this uh, ramjet uh, technology. So, uh, uh, why? Why, were the, why was the military hesitant? C could you explain this? This is, must have been odd for you. No, 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 the word is apprehensive. Army and Air Force are apprehensive, and then they will get one, two, 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 two questions there. One is, can you have multi-tangly capability using a phaser? Second apprehension is, can you get the accuracy to get target can short kill probability of a very high 99 percent hmm. this missile at the range of 25 kilometers. These are the two apprehensions they had because we did, we did not use weapon technology what they thought will be required. But uh, we, when we demonstrated to our air force, I'm happy that the board agreed that both requirements will be met. Okay, well, okay, so you talked about accuracy. What makes the missile system so accurate, sir? Yeah, I was nervous. See, SAM X, normally any new aircraft and any new missile, they put it in until you give a name and a number. Like F 16 or Carl Navar, what is the FX? He also gave X till the name was given. You said I was 34, 35 when the project was sanctioned in 1983. With all the success, I still, I feel, still am 34 percent. Okay, but, but you were made project director when you were just 34 years old. It was originally, uh, you know, a project that was thrust to you, and, and, and it must have made you so nervous to be leading the design team at that young age, when, when so much was at stake. See, of course, I, will, I can share only certain details. I cannot share all the details. But uh, the way we have, see, we did an enormous amount of modeling for the design flight accuracy, target location accuracy at any given instant. Then what is the uh, radio proximity fuse accuracy? Then the, what is the warhead, how the warhead will explode and the fragments and pressure and temperature will around the missile, cover the aircraft. All have to be very precisely managed, and I'm happy that I had a team of such a dedication. There's a lady. There's a see. There are uh, the, the team was made using five laboratories. Five laboratories. One mission: how to improve the accuracy and lethality of the warhead explosion. This was the challenge. But I'm happy the five people worked out such a recipe, perfect recipe for this. So they hats off to the team and they gave the fantastic results. Well, you're, you're very modest. Viewers, look, this is the modesty. Credits the team first and that's, that's, that's the spirit of DRDO viewers. Now, now I have to ask you, uh, Mr. Amarao, Dr. Amarao, I have to ask you this question because it's an important one. The budget was so low, sir, impossibly low, yet you pulled off a miracle. How did that happen? It's unheard of the shoestring budget that you were working on. No, of course, sir. Indian, uh, see, India is a frugal country, you know, India. The cost of uh, manpower, cost of uh, services, everything is a little low when compared to international standard. So, I, our uh, view is we, for any complex technological uh, system to be developed, India's budget is approximately one tenth of the budget in the West and the Europe, normally one tenth. We had a budget of 350 crores. 
but how okay how is how is capability developed among scientific circles in india since your time no i want to tell you india's capability the, the youth power what do you call it youth power has increased over the last two, two decades people are after they are more mature they are more uh, what do you call it it savvy they are more ambitious they want to do something on their own they want to become leaders so the, the, the young team youth power is full of energy it was less when we were all young so i think we have a youth available to us which are much better equipped and also uh, and also you know supported by the parents yeah there there is a stem culture you're right there is a stem culture and it's supported by parents you're absolutely right about that I, I i want to ask you there is a story behind why this system was called the akash can you elaborate no not name name naam in it naam karana what you call it now name some naming ceremony see when the project was approved it was called the medium range phase to air missile system is the name so no, we call samex samex then one day the dr talam called all the scientists from the laboratory hmm. i over 20 30 people were there so let us give the name so you said this is what so i went and presented what the research is supposed to do on the on the blackboard then said now all of you kindly give the name so each of these scientists gave so they said for six names were put on the blackboard so dr talam said let us go pick one of them then it was discussed that then kalam said that, see It is going from ground to air. Jami, our country to Akash. Why not to call it Akash? Everybody liked it. Ah, sir, I think it's a good name. Let us call it Akash. So the name, the naming ceremony concluded. Everybody was clapped, and it was called Akash. At that time, of course, I was not the project director. I was only a scientist. Well, I mean, it's uh, these stories. They make your hair stand at an end. I mean, these stories. They they give you the. goose flesh uh, these are such beautiful stories now how you're talking about dr kalam how instrumental was kalam sir so oh, kalam she is a mentor he was a mentor and a leader and you know he see his capability i was is amazing it's it's a big thinking nation level thinking international thinking is very high he was a big thinker at the same time he can go to micro details because he is, he is a project director himself at ias arlo and he went to lot of small 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 details so this is this is strength is he can focus micro details and keep the thinking simultaneously so that is his strength third actor strength is bringing the people together the engineer the people the, the, the for professionals then the researcher the politician and uh, you know so the way he used to bring people and synergize they used to work for us so they used to work for us see this synergy even atomic energy we used to work they used to work so this synergy was one he brought in national level synergy to achieve an objective or we be something which is unique to him And the other unique thing I told you is micro details. He can keep focus. He can then do big things. These are the two strengths which I have given me. I am mean, sure I have learned a lot from him. We thank him for that. So what? What a beautiful tribute to also your mentor. Thank you so much, sir. We owe so much to you. Uh, we revere people like you, sir. Thank you so much. You kept millions of Indians safe. And what more can we ask?